Hey, I'm Brian Price, head golf professional at Cape Fear National. With me today is our new superintendent, Justin Britt. Hey guys, happy to be here. Uh, look forward to, to working with the golf maintenance crew. Look forward to working with the entire, the entire staff here at Cape Fear National. Today we're out here gonna remind everyone how to fix a proper ball mark. Remember, when you're out there playing, fix your ball mark plus one more to leave the golf course in better shape than you find it. And then Justin's gonna talk about our greens from an agronomy standpoint and what he's doing to make them better. When fixing your ball mark, always work around the outside of the ball mark, pushing the grass to the middle. Doesn't look how pretty it looks at this time, but we're making sure we get all the turf back into one position. Once we're done, we're gonna smooth it over with our putter. So most of you may have read in the previous uh, greens report that, uh, that, that I wrote uh, about the greens, I mentioned fairy ring multiple times. Uh, fairy ring is this the dark green colored kind of half circles and circles on the greens. Fairy rings are caused from a breakdown of organic material in the root zone, causing the soil to be hydrophobic and rich in, in, in nitrogen, one of, one of the nutrients that the plant needs. The dark green circles sometimes become hydrophobic. These are where you see the, the brown areas around the, around the green circles. Uh, these areas become very dry, hydrophobic, and the only way to fix them is with chemical applications twice monthly. So fairy rings don't specifically affect ball roll. It does affect aesthetics. They, they are very unsightly. Um, like I said earlier, the only way to get rid of these, these problems are chemical applications twice monthly. Let me show you what a fairy ring looks like. 